Good morning traders from United World Capital and Cyprus. Uh, today concentration is again on the uh, forthcoming meeting tomorrow uh, in the European Central Bank. The euro US dollar is weaker in the morning hours in Asian trading uh, again 125.30 which is approximately 100 uh, points down from the strong opening uh, in the currency pair yesterday. Uh, I suppose that this uh, volatile picture is going to continue during the trading day uh, and there are a lot of speculations uh, in the market what is going to happen next with the uh, uh, proposals for then starting to buy uh, short-term bonds uh, from the European Central Bank sides uh, of Italian and uh, then uh, uh, Spanish bonds. Uh, the uh, bo interest rate on the bonds were uh, down a little bit yesterday, meaning that uh, uh, indications coming from the uh, ECB president Mario Draghi that uh, uh, as he sees it uh, buying of uh, sovereign bonds would not be uh, a state intervention in the market. Uh, it would more be an effort to try to stabilize the currency markets. Uh, what concretely would come out of the meeting tomorrow is uh, anybody's guess, but probably we are going to see the same trend as we saw uh, when Bernanke uh, last Friday indicated that the uh, uh, American Federal Reserve would take what it was necessary to stabilize and to give stimulus to the market. I think that something of the same not very concrete is going to come out from the ECB meeting tomorrow. Otherwise, the currency markets are stable this morning, no big changes, except for the fact that Australian dollar is falling again after uh, problematic economic data coming out from Australia. Gold prices are still one of the positive factors in the market, they continue to raise, not so steeply, but 16.95 flirting with the 1700 level. Also, silver is strong, 32.20 in the morning hours. The stock markets are weak. Uh, the American markets were down yesterday uh, after Labor Day. Uh, new data for manufacturing are showing that the uh, U.S. industrial production is falling for the third month in a row. That means that the uh, signals coming from the U.S. economy are very mixed and uh, these manufacturing data would probably give them raise to uh, increased pressure on Federal Reserve to then take some dramatic or some active action to ease then the monetary situation. Otherwise, oil prices are weaker than yesterday. Brent crude trading at 114 and uh, New York crude at uh, below, then below 96. It, uh, this means that oil prices are keeping up rather good, but they are much lower than at yesterday's level. I wish all traders a good trading day from United World Capital.